Welcome to Utah State University's Vertebrate Paleontology course. My name is Benjamin Berger, and in this lecture, I'll show you what makes Osteoichthyans, the bony fish, different from other early fishes. As their name suggests, Osteoichthyans are bony fish. Bone, in particular endochondrial bone, is the major defining trait of Osteoichthyans. That is, bone that develops from a cartilage precursor and completely replaces it. The other major trait of osteoichthyans is that they have teeth that are embedded in the maxillary and dentary bones, the bones of the upper and lower jaws. The skull is composed of dermal plates as well as body scales that are overlapping with a chainmail-like articulation. Osteoichthyans arose during the early Devonian and quickly split into two major groups, the fin rays called the Acoptrygians and the lobe fins called the Sarcoptrygians. The major difference between these two groups is in the structure of the pectoral fins. In Acoptrygians, the fin is composed of a radial ray of bony ossifications to support the fin, while in the lobe fin, Sarcoptrygians, the fin contains a discrete set of bones, either paired or along the axis of the fin. Now, most of the fish that are, that's coming to your mind right now belong to the Osteoichthyan group, and most living fish belong to the Actopterygian group, including uh, goldfish, uh, tuna, and salmon. One of the earliest Actopterygian fish is the late Silurian and early Devonian Guya from China. It features many of the advanced features of Osteoichthyan fish, including a gill arch that was covered by movable opercular bones. The lower jaw, the dentary, as well as the maxilla contain rows of teeth, and the scales are overlapping. Yet like primitive Actopterygian fish, it has fin spines. Guya is placed between Actopterygian and Sarcoptrygian fish within Osteoichthyans. Another interesting mid-Devonian Actopterygian fish is Sherolepus. The teeth are found on the maxilla and premaxilla bones as well as in the dentary, but notice that the jaw joint is somewhat movable in its ability to project forward. This is referred to as a kinetic skull. This allows the jaw to be opened more widely to accommodate larger prey. Another early Octopterygian fish is the Devonian Sotorolepus. Sotorolepus closely resembles the living bowfin fish named Amia, which lives in the Mississippi River today. Now, Amia is a fairly primitive living fish, and like its Devonian ancestor, it exhibits a complex structure of dermal bones that compose the skull. The maxilla in Sarolepus is primitive in that unlike Amia, it lacks a hinge and the bone is well ossified into that upper jaw. The primitive jaw acts more like a gate, swinging open and closed, while in Amia, as we'll see in more advanced fish later on, the maxilla acts more like a net in its ability to sweep up prey. All right, you should now know what makes Osteoichthyans, the bony fish, different from other early fish. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to learn more about Utah State University's geology program, check out the website, geology.usu.edu, or my own website at benjamin.berger.org. Links are found in the description below.